Good morning. My name is Greg Veet, and I'm here to represent Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland, for our daily prayer uh, for Tuesday, May 24th, 2022. Um, today, I would like to talk about uh, fear and anxiety and how Jesus and the Holy Spirit can help us to overcome um, our fears and our anxieties that we have. Um, so for today's Bible verse, I would like to share with you John chapter 16, verse 7, and it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. So I am definitely not as... Uh, smart when it comes to the Bible or scriptures as anyone else. So I refer to my study Bible to find out that the, the helper in this uh, context is the Holy Spirit. And that when Jesus was getting ready to take his leave of his disciples for the last time, um, that he told them about the persecutions ahead of them that, that they would face um, if they were to follow Jesus. And he didn't share this to discourage them in any way, but to kind of reinforce their um, spiritual hardiness, if you will, to, to follow Jesus and to help them understand the journey ahead that was going to happen. Um, Jesus knew it wasn't going to be easy, so he assured the disciples um, that they would not be left alone, that the Helper or the Holy Spirit would come to them and uh, help them be their comforter to get them through the challenging times, the persecutions that would come for following Jesus. Um, so it, that, that's a pretty powerful verse to me. Um, and it's, it's something interesting I read. It said that um, because when Jesus was on earth, he could only be in one place at any given time. The Holy Spirit would carry Jesus' ministry throughout the entire world at all times. And the Holy Spirit would not come until Jesus returned to heaven. So, very, very interesting. Um, I'll share a quick story with you about fear and anxiety. So, um, I flew in the Navy for 20 years, a uh, whole ton of flight hours. Um, and I experienced real fear several times flying. Um, but the two, there were two incidents where the airplane actually caught on fire while we were flying at altitude, out over the ocean, nowhere near land, and couldn't get back to land quickly if we had to. Um, so one of my systems I was operating um, caught fire. Uh, it's, it, it grew pretty quickly. And on the airplane that I flew on, we had eight fire extinguishers. So you say to yourself, oh, that's, that should be plenty to put out the fire. Well, the first five that we fired, tried to fire as I was fighting the fire, didn't work. So... We had three left. So the mission commander said, okay, take number six. If it doesn't work, then we're going to think about what the alternatives are, right? So that struck fear into all of us. Um, but those of us that had the, had our faith, um, and mine wasn't the strongest at the time, um, but we had faith and, and we believed that the Holy Spirit and, and God would save us and protect us. And sure enough, we pulled the pin on the sixth fire extinguisher, fired it, and it worked, and we were able to, to put the fire out. Um, nasty situation. But still, we all experienced that fear, just as the disciples did when Jesus was about to be taken from them. Um, and Jesus told them, allayed their fears by saying that the Holy Spirit would carry them through, would be their comforter, um, and would help them through the challenging times that Jesus knew were going to face his followers. So I just wanted to share that. And um, let's have a prayer, if that's okay. Uh, Father in heaven, we thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you for the gift of Jesus' life, but we thank you also for the Holy Spirit that pervades the world all at the same time, at all times, and helps to comfort us in these times of trouble, that helps to... Uh, Help us through and realize that challenging times are never as challenging as we think as long as we have our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ with us. We thank you for all the blessings you give us and forgive us our sins. And we thank you for Jesus 
giving the ultimate sacrifice so that we could be forgiven our sins. We thank you for all the gifts of our uh, our church family and everything you bless us with each and every day. Amen. Uh, so thank you for joining me today. Um, this message is kind of short, but uh, I hope I hope it's as powerful to you as it is, as it is to me. Um, I will always remember that the Holy Spirit carried me through the times when I thought I was walking alone, and I know I wasn't. That, that's the time when God said, you only see one set of footprints, because it was then that I was carrying you. So that's how I remember it, and that's how I think about it that night on that airplane when I thought I might be ditching in the Pacific Ocean on a dark December night, and the Holy Spirit came through and saved all of us. So thank you for joining Thank you, Pastor Jim, for allowing us to participate in this ministry. I hope that you all have a great day and a wonderful week. And remember, wherever we go, wherever we walk, Jesus always walks with us.